our pastoral prayer this morning is uh, has a response rather. Uh, the call for that, that response is let us pray to the Lord and your response is Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare with glory beyond our understanding, whose mercy is boundless and love for us is endless, look upon us with your compassion. For peace that calms our hearts and saves our souls, and for peace in the whole world and throughout creation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the stability of the church and the unity of this congregation, and for all who desire to follow you with faith and reverence, and for the ministries of your church around the world in these challenging times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our countries and our leaders, for all of those in public service, for our town, our community, for every community and every nation, for all who offer themselves with diligence and compassion as months of pandemic stretch on, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the indigenous people in Canada, for the nurturing of relationships between cultures and communities, for the healing of old, old hurts, and for repentance and reconciliation, for the discovery this week of approximately 215 children at a residential school found buried near Kamloops for new and better ways to walk with one another in respect and with care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the safety of those who must travel by land, sea, and air, for those who long to travel but cannot, and for all of those who are separated from those they love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the sick, the suffering and the isolated, for victims of violence, for refugees and captives, and for our protection against all affliction, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And to you, holy God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, belongs all glory, honor, and worship now and forever. And we pray that you would hear us now as together we say the words of our family prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our hymn 479, The Church's One Foundation. <laughs> 